So recently, Royal Caribbean announced some of their longer Caribbean itineraries for the late 2022, early 2023 timeframe. So let's take a look at some of these. What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon. If you want to stay up to date with the latest cruise news, make sure you subscribe down below and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. So like I just said, Royal Caribbean did announce some of their longer itineraries for the Caribbean in late 2022 to early 2023. And included in this, we are going to have one of the world's largest ships finally getting to Galveston. So first up on our list, we do have Symphony and Oasis of the Seas. They're going to be doing Eastern and Western alternating itineraries out of the Port of Miami. Of course, we do already have Symphony sailing out of there, or at least she was before the pandemic started. And same with Oasis. Oasis was supposed to go up to New York during the summer of 2020 and 2021, but that never ended up happening. Symphony and Oasis will be doing a variety of Eastern and Western Caribbean itineraries, going to places like Costa Maya, Cozumel, Roatan, and other places like St. Martin, St. Kitts, and San Juan. And then next, coming to the Port of Galveston, finally is the Allure of the Seas. Allure of the Seas was originally supposed to set sail from the Port of Galveston in 2021. Royal Caribbean was having a brand new terminal built in the Port of Galveston just so they could hold a ship this size in Galveston. But due to all the shutdowns and the pandemic and everything like that, it did get pushed back until 2022. That terminal is expected to start construction in April of 2021, so just next month. And then that terminal will be ready for Allure of the Seas in late 2022. Of course, with Allure of the Seas being in Galveston, Texas, she is going to be doing Western Caribbean itineraries from there. Next up on our list, we do have a ship that hasn't really been in the side of the world in a very, very long time. We have Voyager of the Seas. She's been over in Asia and Australia for a very long time, the past couple of years, but she is now making her way over to the United States. She is going to be doing a little bit of time up in uh, Canada and New England. But and then for the winter 2022-2023 time frame, like we're talking about in today's video, she'll be calling San Juan home, San Juan, Puerto Rico. She's going to be offering seven-night Southern Caribbean itineraries from San Juan going to places like St. Lucia, St. Kitts, and Barbados. And definitely a lot more because there's so many islands that can go down there, but that's just a couple of them that I could think off the top of my head. Harmony of the Seas will continue her time over in Port Canaveral. She currently, at least before the shutdown, was homeported in Port Canaveral. She was expected to go over into Europe in 2021 because of a, you know, their five-year dry dock schedules. Every cruise ship has to go into a dry dock every five years, whether it's maintenance, just general maintenance, or it's these big extravagant, as Royal Caribbean calls it, amplifications. But in late 2022 into early 2023, she'll be home ported again like normal in Port Canaveral. Next up on our list, we do have Serenade of the Seas. She's going to be the third ship in Tampa this during this season. You know, usually there's only about one or two ships that are in Tampa, but we're going to have three this year. We're going to have the Rhapsody and the Brilliance doing shorter cruises, and we'll have Serenade doing the longer seven to ten night cruises. Serenade's going to be doing a variety of cruises with a Panama Canal thrown in there somewhere. She's also going to be going to Coco Cay, places like Cozumel, Roatan, other Western Caribbean itineraries. And then thrown in there, we do have the Panama Canal cruises just randomly thrown in there. She, well, she'll be going to places like Colombia and Costa Rica. And last up on our list, we have Enchantment of the Seas will be sailing at the Port of Baltimore. While Enchantment of the Seas is sailing out of Baltimore, she's going to be sailing to Bermuda. And she'll also be going to the Bahamas on a variety of five to nine night cruises. And during the fall, she's actually be going up to Canada, New England, doing uh, New England cruises. So that's really, really cool. So that's going to be all for today's video. What are your thoughts down below? Which ship are you most excited to see in these new home ports or different home ports? Or are you excited that your ship is staying in the same one? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like. And if you don't already and you want to stay up to date with the latest of cruise news, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.